a little bit about Bessie because she certainly deserved it. Um, during Good Earth, the making of Good Earth, she w had a small role. I th if you look at it carefully, she, she was inside of a tent or a shelter, and I think her husband or some other character had died, and she's crying and crying, and that was Bessie Lou's uh, so-called acting career in those days. Uh, during Good Earth, they hired uh, tons of people from L.A. Almost anybody available worked on that movie, because in those days, the, the movie's uh, uh, producer could afford hiring the extras because they worked for Peanuts, right? And, um, and uh, they just went for big, big crowd scenes, as you remember, like Cecil B. DeMille and all these millions of people on the set, thousands if not millions. Same thing with Good Earth. Thousands of Chinese were, were hired. So they quickly asked Bessie, Bessie Lu, would you kindly help us hire some of the actors, the smaller roles and not big roles, because the big roles were all white people, as you can remember. And, and so the, the small roles, because uh, you know the community, uh, and, uh, and help us get some extra. So that was the starting of her career. Bessie Lu started an agency to hire the extras and small roles for uh, Good Earth. Aside from, I imagine, doing, finishing up that role that she did. Um, so th then, from that movie on, she became the agent for Asian Americans in Hollywood. And she spanned through, I don't know how many decades of just hiring uh, uh, the people for Hollywood. She did a Hollywood a great service. In other words, she was the only agent in town for, if you wanted a, a Asian American in your movie, you call Bessie Lou, see? So, uh, I knew that was the person I wanted to represent me. Besides, there was nobody else. <laughs> so it's worth mentioning, in a sense, that she had a home up there on top of the Franklin Hills. And how, how did we get to her to be an agent? Uh, and again, it reverts back to when I first arrived in uh, 1953, 54. We were from Minnesota. We still had our, our stocking caps and our gloves uh, from Minnesota. I don't know why we brought it to to California. So during Christmas, Don Parker and I decided that we would go up to Bessie Lou's house and knock on the door. Now, that takes a lot of gumption. But that's, when you're young, you're willing to do anything, right? I didn't have an agent yet, see? So we got dressed in our stocking cap and our gloves, and we got a couple of candles, lit the candles, knock on her door. And when she opened it, a silent night. Holy night, all is calm and all that stuff. She just was totally breathless. She never forgot that, that night when we sang Christmas carols in front of her door in our stocking caps and clothes. So in a sense, I, I encourage and don't really encourage, do whatever you can, but get yourself a good agent. Try anything you, you, you must. That's for all the young actors out there. You just got to do it. You got to do something that's outstanding and not get arrested, of course. But, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, there's thousands of other actors out there aside from you. So go to it. Do your thing.